just goes ballistic. Without fail, within 20 feet of their deck, they'll start barking every time. I'm in boxer heaven. <laughs> When another dog walks by, Victoria is quickly transported into boxer hell. No, hey! Oh! Come on! Oh, in. good grief! Come on! Hey! Cooper! No! No, sir! Uh-uh! Cooper! Hey! No! Hey! Sit! Cooper, sit! He's a handful. You know, we need help! Cooper, sit! <gasps> sit! Let's go! Uh, Cooper, <laughs> sit! Okay. So that's just a little snippet of Cooper. I saw when you tried yeah. uh -huh. he, he to, to pull me. him back. Yeah, he almost bit me. He's like, ah, get off me. We've tried everything. We're at a point right now where Victoria will be able to help us figure out what it is that, that Cooper needs. Cooper's reaction to other dogs out on the balcony. OK. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> severe. It is. He's freaking out that another dog is coming past his property. To him, the barking makes the other dog go away. Because it works. Yeah. Whoa, Cooper's done it. Well done, Cooper. <laughs> Reaching for the collar is a threatening gesture anyway. Mm. Pulling him back means that he can't have the ability to act naturally. You are stopping him from doing what he really needs to do to protect himself, the house, and everybody else. And he goes, ah! no, hey! Means get off. See? Okay. So you're making the dog worse and you're making the dog redirect that aggressive response to you, which we have to stop. Uh, hey! Oh! Instead of dragging Cooper away from the balcony, Victoria has a non physical alternative. I want to start working with him to get him to come to me at the sound of my whistle. Victoria starts by creating an association between the sound of the whistle and getting a treat. It's not long before Grayson, Lexi, and Bailey catch on to the whistle training, too. See what I'm getting at? Uh-huh. OK, whistle means, whoa, great, follow her. We like that. Cooper, Cooper seemed as though he was having fun, and yet he was learning, too, so it was Nice to not see a forceful type of training. Cooper's responding to the whistle. Good boy. And soon enough, a real life test appears. Try it, try it. That's it, that's it, you got good it, you boy. got it, you got it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It was good to have a good successful outcome because we haven't had such good news in the last couple days, you know, about his behavior. The success of the whistle prompts Victoria to up the ante. I just wanted to bring Cooper onto the balcony, and I wanted to say to him, you know what, if somebody walks past with a dog, it's okay. And I'm also going to use some high-value treats. These are the only time he ever gets these treats, is when he is around other dogs. I'm using tripe and cheese. I'm going to bring him into a sit. Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. All right, now I'm going to cue the other dog. Watch me. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. Now, what I'm doing is I'm stimulating him mentally so that he is more focused on me and the food and doing what I ask him to do rather than on the dog that is on the street. Very good boy. When the dog goes past, if he has a calm reaction, he gets the treat. <gasps> good. Love it. Very good. It's a huge breakthrough. I'm speechless. I really am. We are desensitizing him to the presence of other dogs now. I mean, that was reality. It wasn't about being in the house. It wasn't about, you know, sitting on the carpet and leave it. It was about being outside where it happens every day. Okay. Oh, that was absolutely the high point of the training so far. Good boy. Fantastic. You are amazing. I've been really impressed with how you've taken to the training. There were many things that we had to do. The whistle training is going to be very important. But also, set your dogs up for success. 
I really want you to work hard with Cooper on all the things that we've done, the whistle training, the desensitizing on the balcony. This is strictly between Cooper and us at this point, and I'm looking forward to that, to put the techniques into use and see Cooper become a happier dog. Good luck. Thank you for everything. Tomorrow we enter the new techniques with Cooper because Victoria's gone. That's gonna be the, the toughest part. Dog. Good boy, what a good boy. What? Armed with a confession cam that Victoria gave her before she left, Danny makes excuses for Cooper's bad behavior. So I was out on the deck with Cooper and I didn't even see somebody coming. I had treats out there and Cooper got like real excited and my finger, he bit my finger. He didn't mean to. Right, Cooper? Cooper. It's been three days, and it's time for Victoria to check in on the progress. It's Morpheus. Look, Cooper, look. Look. Cooper, dog, dog, dog. Sit. Sit. Cooper. Cooper. So what do we Hey, Cooper. Hey. Hey. Dog. Hey, hey. I think we need a new collar on the no! Watch it. It's hey. not what Victoria hey. was hoping to see. It looks like I'm needed back at Danny and Camille's house, that's for sure. So tell me about what happened on, on the back porch. The back deck, um, Cooper went ballistic. And there was nothing that we could do. It was the first time since you've left that I felt like I had no control and I was at risk. His collar also came unhooked a couple times. Like three times. or four times. So then we so had no we control. So when we were pulling him. Ay, ay, but I told you not to pull his collar. <laughs> the worst thing you can do, <laughs> that's going to get you bitten, Danny. That's going to get you bitten. Remember when I said you pull the collar, the dog feels threatened and he's going to redirect whatever angst he's feeling right onto you to get you off him because you're making him vulnerable. Okay, well, I'd like to be able to see and I want to do some maybe additional training on the back porch. With Cooper on the back porch, we were at a loss. We both were really frustrated at that. All right, bring him out. Cue the dog. All right, get him to a sit and get him into a down. That's it. Lovely. Work hard at it. That's it. Good. Work hard. Fantastic. Out. To increase the likelihood of success, Victoria is going to modify her technique. You know what? I think we should make it easy for him. Set the dog up for success. So he starts here. When he's good here, move to here. Move to here. And if he reacts badly here, go back to here again. Working, working, working. Good boy. Love the focus. Fantastic. Good boy. Confidence. Stay. Watch me. Good boy. See how this is working? Dog's right there now. Now, to get him out of this situation, either we're going to have the dog leave, or you just say a happy, let's go, and you go inside. OK, get him quick. Sit. Down. That's it. Watch me. Stay. Good boy. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Now the dog's right there. He's now gone into the side of his hip. More relaxed Stay. stance. Watch me. <gasps> what a good boy. And now let's do a happy. Let's go. Let's go. Good boy. It was just such a, a relief to learn new techniques and to see Victoria work with Cooper because it's always easier for me to see somebody else do it first or do it right. <laughs> <laughs>